Hey there, so it's Mr. Tush, and we are going to have a brief conversation about 2.7. This is the I Have a Dream soundboard projects. This is a little bit different from the stuff we've been doing up to now. Uh, up to now, we've been handing you a template, and you hand it in. They're kind of a smaller assignment. Kind of follow along and do what's there. There's a couple of other little challenges we give you with this one, and then all of a sudden, you are going to go out, and you're going to make your own app based on soundboard. It's not something something you don't know how to do, but you're going to design it on your own. So here's what's going to happen. You are going to go into App Inventor, and this is your, let me pull up your correct project. Sorry, I didn't have it up for you already. You already have your I Have a Dream Part 2, and that's already running here, and this is the one that you have. In the, I have a dream. What is your real name? And it plays and pauses, and the two buttons don't overlap each other. That was a big part of 2.4. Now today, uh, when you get to the textbook, there are some specific challenges that you're being given. And I'm gonna let you skip some of them. I did outline it all on the playlist, so you're right in here. Um, I am expecting you to do some, but not all. So here's what's gonna happen, and make sure you watch the playlist to know. You're gonna give the app its own custom icon, and that one's a little bit tricky. Um, but first of all, of course, you're gonna go in here, and you're gonna go to My Projects, and you're gonna go to Save Project as, and then you're going to have to rename it Soundboard Project. And I would even call it 2 7. So, uh, yeah, I can't use that 2 7 underscore 7. I can do a 2 underscore 7. And of course, I can't put any spaces in it. So maybe you even call it Soundboard Project 2 underscore 7. And you call it there. And one of the things that it asks you to do, it's just calling up the assignment again, is to change the custom icon. So you're going to have to take a look here at where it is screen one and see if there's anything in here in screen one that talks about icon. And the other thing you're going to have to learn how to do is to upload this particular um, uh, to this particular library here, the media library, where the icon goes. Now, why would I do that? Because when I'm on my desktop in my Android, let me see if I can go to that. There we go. You see this icon and you have this little graphic here? Well, I want your app to have its own graphic. So that's the first thing you're going to do is upload its own custom icon. Then you're going to do the step two. That's the one you're also going to do. You use the text-to-speech component, and if you watch this video, he shows you how to do the text-to-speech component um, with Malcolm X. And, of course, it does a funky interpretation on his Android. It usually does it with yours. Um, then third step, the vibrate. No, do not do the vibrate. In fact, I wrote that here. Skip the vibrate section right here. So skip the vibrate section, so don't do that. And then do step, sorry, step four, the accelerometer sensor which triggers Malcolm X's text-to-speech. By now, if I say you want to put in something called an event handler, I'm expecting that you know how to do an event handler. So, for example, right here we have when Malcolm X, when button MLK is clicked, that's what happens. So you've got that button going on. All of these control items here are event handlers. But when you go to button MLK, these are actually, sorry, these are the event handlers right here. So when the button MLK is clicked, that could be that. Now, if you're going to use an accelerometer sensor, you, of course, are going to have to put in an accelerometer sensor under sensors. And you put in the accelerometer sensor. Once you put it in, you're going to be able to add blocks for it in here, just like you could add blocks for the player. You could add blocks for the buttons. Make sure you do that with that. Now, those are all kind of the warm-ups to the project. Then you have to create your own soundboard app. This is where the big money comes in. Three pictures, three sound files. It's right here. Three pictures and three sound files that are played when you click the pictures. Make sure that it doesn't have the, allow the sounds to overlap each other. You should know how to do that because you had to do that for part two. All right. So when you click a button to play a sound, the other ones turn off. And that's the one you play. You are going to also make sure that this is Hispanic heritage themed. So I want you to find voices and people of Latinx heritage. And I want this to be a celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. Why? Because we are in the middle of Hispanic Heritage Month. And by the end of next week, we'll be celebrating the end of that. So now that we're smack dab in the middle of that, 
I do want you to have an app that does celebrate Latinx heritage. So let's make sure that gets done. And then finally, you're going to create a one minute narrated video. How do I create a one minute narrated video? Well, look, we gave you directions. It says how to create an app video with help for creating a video. And there's a couple of different ways to do it. You can do it the way I created the 2.4. You can also use A to Z screen recorder and I'm hopefully uh, have a chance to show you that in class. Post the video on your, it says to your portfolio. What's gonna happen is when you're in the I Have a Dream projects at assignment, when you're in that assignment, my add and create buttons are here. Your add and create buttons will be up here on the right side. But add and upload the video from your, uh, from your phone, from your computer. You can email it to yourself, but upload the working video so I can see it. The kids who did this last year um, had to do this several times. Um, and when we're working remotely, and there's always with the hybrid model, there's always going to be some remote work we do, we do. I want you to make sure that I see the videos of what you of your app working, because that's how I will judge. Now, um, then when you're done with that, uh, reflect with your partner how to uh, how you know this worked with collaboration. So if you did work with a partner, add that as a, you know do this reflection in here. The 2.7, these three reflections. What is UI? UI means user interface. How is it a creative app? All of that, uh, answer these three questions very thoughtfully. How am I grading you? I have this rubric. Now I want you to notice something. This rubric is 140 points. The first one was 20 points, or maybe it was 40. The second one was 60 points. This one's 140, it's more than twice as much. Because there's a lot more work involved. This is your project for the week. Get your head, but this is gonna take you a few hours. This is not an easy project, so give yourself some time. Um, you have all the information to figure out the problem, but you're gonna work like real programmers. Um, make sure you're coming to class, make sure you're getting the extra help, make sure you're seeing me in office hours. Now, how are you getting graded? If I see the custom, oh, excuse me, if I see the custom icon, you are going to get five points. If I see the text-to-speech work in your video, you'll get seven and a half points. If I see the accelerometer sensor, that's where I shake it. You're, if that works, you're going to get seven and a half points. Um, the original soundboard app, just doing it and having all the components there, 60 points. But here's the trick. It's actually 70 points because posting the video, I give you 10 points for just posting the video. But the video has to show all of these components. And that's why it's a 60-pointer right there. I'm sure it has all the components. What components? This is it. Three sound files, three pictures. Where are you going to upload it? Remember, you're going to upload it to the media fight. Click upload and upload it. Remember, App Inventor has a five megabyte total file limit. So don't put up long rap tunes. Don't put up long speeches. Put up little five second snippets. You have to be very creative with that. And then you complete your reflection worksheet. That's incredibly important as well. The reflection worksheet is right here. You have the three questions. So if I have three thoughtfully answered questions, one, two, three, 30 points right there. And then finally, that it clearly celebrates Hispanic heritage. If that's very obvious to me, then it's 20 points. If I'm not really understanding, it's a little vague. Maybe I get a sense that maybe there's somebody of Spanish origin on this that's vague to me, that's a 10 pointer. I could see you tried, but you didn't quite pull it off. You didn't do it, that's 20 points off right off the top. So that's what you're doing. A little bit, wait a second, there's a lot of holes I have to fill in. Yes, go one step at a time. Go right to this page, do step one, do step two, do step three. Follow the playlist, that's how it works. When you do that, you will succeed. Don't plan to get this all done the night before, it will never work. Work on it a little bit each day. Work on it in class, keep working on it at home. Hope you enjoyed this, I hope this helps you get it done. If you're having troubles, reach out to me. Thanks so much.